Welcome to Day 7 of Daily AI Wizard, your journey to mastering AI. I'm Anastasia, your AI guide, here to make learning AI simple and fun for everyone. Today we're diving into the basics of reinforcement learning, a unique part of machine learning. I'm excited to explore this topic with you, and I've brought along a special friend to greet you. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm thrilled to be here with Anastasia, and I can't wait to share a cool demo later in this lesson. Let's get started with reinforcement learning. Before we begin, let's recap day six. We learned that unsupervised learning uses unlabeled data to find patterns following a process of collecting data, applying an algorithm, and interpreting the results. It has two types, clustering for grouping data and association for finding relationships, and we saw Sophia use orange to cluster customers. I hope you tried the task and shared your clusters in the comments. Today, we'll explore a different type of machine learning, reinforcement learning. Today we'll cover the basics of reinforcement learning. We'll define what it is, break down how it works with a detailed process, and explore key concepts like agents, environments, and rewards. We'll also look at real-world applications, challenges, and a demo to see it in action. This lesson will help you understand how machines learn through trial and error. Let's dive into this exciting topic and get started on our RL journey. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns through trial and error. The agent interacts with an environment, making decisions and taking actions. It uses rewards for good actions and penalties for bad ones to improve its behavior over time. For example, a robot might learn to walk by trying different movements and getting rewarded for steps forward. It's like training a pet with treats to encourage the right behavior. Why is it called reinforcement learning? It's reinforcement because the learning process relies on a reward system to guide the agent. Positive actions are reinforced with rewards, encouraging the agent to repeat them. Negative actions receive penalties, discouraging those behaviors. Over time, the agent learns to maximize its total rewards by choosing the best actions. This reward-based system is what makes reinforcement learning so unique. The reinforcement learning process follows three main steps, forming a cycle of learning through experience. First, the agent observes the environment to understand its current state. Then, it takes an action and receives a reward or penalty based on that action. Next, the agent updates its strategy to maximize future rewards. This cycle repeats, allowing the agent to improve over time. It's a dynamic process of learning by doing. The first step in reinforcement learning is that the agent observes the environment. The environment is the world the agent operates in, like a game or a physical space. The agent observes the current state, which is the situation it's in at that moment. For example, a robot might see its position in a room as the state. This state provides the context the agent needs to make informed decisions. Observation is the foundation of the RL process. Step two is where the agent takes an action and receives a reward. The agent chooses an action based on the state it observed, like deciding which way to move. The environment responds by giving a reward for good actions or a penalty for bad ones. For example, a robot might move forward and get a reward for progress. This reward or penalty guides the agent's future actions. It's a direct feedback loop that shapes the learning process. Step three is where the agent updates its strategy. The agent learns from the reward or penalty it received, understanding what worked and what didn't. 
it updates its policy, which is its strategy for choosing actions, to maximize future rewards. For example, a robot might avoid falling after receiving a penalty for a bad move. With each cycle, the agent's learning improves, getting better at making decisions. This iterative process is the heart of reinforcement learning. Let's explore a key concept in reinforcement learning, the agent. The agent is the learner or decision maker in the RL process, responsible for taking actions. It interacts with the environment by observing states and choosing actions. The agent's goal is to maximize its total rewards over time. For example, a game playing AI, like one playing chess, acts as the agent, learning to win by earning rewards for good moves. Another key concept is the environment in reinforcement learning. The environment is the world the agent interacts with, providing the context for learning. It gives the agent states to observe and rewards based on actions taken. The environment can be simple, like a game, or complex, like the real world. It defines the rules of interaction, shaping how the agent learns and behaves over time. The third key concept is rewards in reinforcement learning. Rewards are the feedback the agent gets from the environment after taking an action. They're positive for good actions and negative for bad ones, guiding the agent's learning. For example, an agent might get plus one for winning a game and one for losing. The agent's ultimate goal is to maximize its cumulative rewards over time, learning the best actions to achieve this. A fundamental concept in reinforcement learning is exploration versus exploitation. Exploration means trying new actions to learn what works, even if it's risky. Exploitation involves using known actions that have previously led to rewards. Balancing exploration and exploitation is crucial for effective learning, as too much of either can limit progress. For example, an agent might try new moves in a game or repeat ones that led to wins, finding the right mix. Reinforcement learning has two main approaches, model-free and model-based. Model-free RL learns directly from experience without predicting the environment's behavior. Model-based RL uses a model of the environment to plan actions, making it more efficient in some cases. Each approach is suited for different tasks, depending on the complexity of the environment. Let's explore both types to understand how they work in reinforcement learning. Model-free reinforcement learning is an approach where the agent learns directly from trial and error. It doesn't build a model of the environment, so it doesn't predict how the environment will respond. Instead, it relies on experience to improve its actions over time. For example, Q-learning is a popular model-free method used in many applications. This approach is straightforward, but can require a lot of trial and error to learn effectively. Model-based reinforcement learning takes a different approach by building a model of the environment. The agent uses this model to predict how the environment will respond to its actions, allowing it to plan ahead. For example, in a game, the agent might predict outcomes to plan its moves strategically. This approach can be more efficient than model-free RL as it reduces trial and error. However, building an accurate model makes it more complex to implement. Reinforcement learning relies on algorithms, which are the rules the agent uses to learn from rewards. These algorithms are used in both model-free and model-based RL, depending on the approach. Examples include Q-Learning and SARSA for model-free RL and DQN, which uses neural networks for complex tasks.
The choice of algorithm depends on the task's complexity and the environment. Let's look at a few popular algorithms to see how they work in RL. Q-learning is a popular, model-free, reinforcement learning algorithm. It learns a Q-table, which stores values for each state action pair, indicating their expected rewards. For example, an agent might use Q-learning to navigate a maze, choosing actions that lead to rewards. Q-learning updates the Q-values over time to maximize future rewards, improving the agent's decisions. It's a foundational algorithm widely used in RL for its simplicity and effectiveness. DeepQ Networks, or DQN, is a model-free RL algorithm that uses neural networks to handle complex environments. It's an advanced version of Q-learning, capable of learning directly from raw data, like game pixels. For example, DQN has been used to teach agents to play Atari games, like Breakout, achieving human-level performance. It combines Q-learning with deep learning to process large state spaces. This makes DQN powerful for real-world applications with high complexity. Reinforcement learning powers many real-world applications across various fields. Game-playing AI, like AlphaGo, uses RL to master games like Go, beating world champions. In robotics, RL helps robots learn tasks like picking objects through trial and error. Autonomous vehicles use RL to navigate traffic, optimizing their driving decisions. RL is a versatile tool that optimizes decision-making in industries from gaming to transportation. To see reinforcement learning in action, let's bring in Sophia for a demo. She'll use OpenAI Gym, a free tool, to show how an agent learns to balance a pole in the cart pole game. This demo will illustrate how the agent improves by maximizing rewards through trial and error. It's a great way to see RL concepts come to life. Over to you, Sophia, to show us how it works. Hi, I'm Sophia, your demo guide for Daily AI Wizard. I'm using OpenAI Gym, a free toolkit, to show reinforcement learning with a cart pole game. The agent's goal is to balance a pole on a cart by moving left or right. It learns through rewards for keeping the pole balanced, improving over episodes. See how it gets better with each try? That's RL in action. Back to you, Anastasia. Thanks, Sophia. That was an amazing demo. Let's break down how it worked. OpenAI Jim used the cart pole game to demonstrate reinforcement learning in action. The agent observes the state, like the cart's position and pole's angle, takes actions, and gets rewards for keeping the pole balanced. Over time, it learns to balance the pole longer by maximizing rewards. This is RL learning through trial and error, improving with each episode. Reinforcement learning comes with several challenges. It often requires many trials to learn effectively, which can take a lot of time. 
Balancing exploration versus exploitation is tricky, as we discussed earlier. Sparse rewards, where rewards are rare, make it hard for the agent to learn what's right. Additionally, RL can be computationally expensive, requiring significant resources for complex tasks. These challenges highlight the need for careful design in RL applications. Let's recap what we've learned today. Reinforcement learning is about learning through trial and error, following a process of observing, acting, receiving rewards, and updating strategies. We explored key concepts like the agent, environment, rewards, and the balance of exploration versus exploitation. RL has applications in gaming, robotics, and autonomous vehicles, as we saw in Sophia's CartPole demo. Your task? Try OpenAI Jim's CartPole game and share your results in the comments. Visit wisdomacademy.ai for more resources to keep learning on your AI journey. That's it for Day 7, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this AI journey. I'm Anastasia, and I hope you enjoyed learning the basics of reinforcement learning. If you found this lesson helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for daily lessons. Tomorrow, we'll explore an introduction to neural networks, a key topic in machine learning. Let's hear from Sophia before we go. Hi, I'm Sophia. RL was so much fun fun with cart pole. Stay tuned for more magic. Day eight will rock, so don't miss out, wizards.